Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Transport Fever, where we are playing on Britain and Ireland. Now, this is a modded map, and we are trying to get our uh, little company going on the southern east or southeastern edge of the map. We're connecting Canterbury, uh, London, which is split into two towns, Southampton, and East Bristol. We are still picking up. We don't really have that many people waiting here, although the central line is now starting to really fill up. The lines that are profitable are the tram lines, albeit not extremely so. What I need to do is add more transport capability to the London to South London tram line, because what my estimate is, is that people are massively flocking to this train station in order to try and get to Southampton, Bristol, etc. So, considering that we have uh, a decent amount of cash coming in, we might even turn a modest profit by the end of the year, if not a small deficit. I might be able to get a few more trams next year, because I really don't want to exceed too much of my uh, loan ceiling. I'm not sure how much that is at the moment. 30 million. Still, we saw what happened with the previous playthrough. That didn't end up too well. Let's just leave it at that. Alright, mine's 129. Oh, wow. There's another one of those modded vehicles that I have added in. The RMS Lusitania. I would love to be able to field that thing somewhere. I'm just not sure, exactly sure where. It could be a connection between Dublin and Manchester. But for now, that is not something I'm focused on. For now, I want to get these connections operating at best capacity. And the trains seem to be at decent capacity. They are already making me a, uh, a decent amount of profit. And they still have room to grow. Because right now they have a power rating of good. And that can be improved further. Or actually, that means I can add a few more wagons to that. But, right now, I don't really need that capability just yet. Because most of the time, we can still pick up the people that are waiting. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. And again, the main priority right now is adding more trams over here. This is not the most profitable line, though. This is the uh, London-South London line that you're looking at over here. There are just a ton of people waiting there. And I'm assuming that they're all trying to get to uh, the station over here because there's not really a connection going from either East Bristol to Birmingham or to London. So they might be trying to get to South sorry, South Southampton or Canterbury. Let's see. Yep, we just turned a profit this year. And it's only July. So that's a good sign. If we can keep this up. We might be quite capable of repaying that loan rather quickly, which at the moment is a decent portion of our cash because it's 150k each year in interest. So that's something I would like to get rid of as soon as possible. These trains are running full all of the time by now. Fifty-three. All of these small chunks of cash are coming in by the use of the trams. The trains is where I'm making, well, not a lot of cash, but they are definitely bringing in the larger portions of it. The larger chunks. Okay, so we went from minus 838 to minus 125. That means that if that trend continues, we could be seeing a profit this year. And we're already seeing it. It's December now. London is still bitching about the connection not being fast enough. Yep, we just turned a profit last year, 200k. Near enough. 
and the income uh, went up by about four hundred thousand dollars mostly coming from the trains the trams are really not that interesting and actually maybe my priority is wrong because right now this train station ensures that most of the time the train is full so what I might need is more space for passengers on the train not so much more space on the trams because the trams are basically only feeding lines they're there to provide people for the trains to transport and the tran sorry the trains are the ones that are actually making the money again not a well I wasn't going to say not a whole lot, but they're doing all right. And of course, uh, providing these towns with additional resources should allow them to grow faster. I still have my eye on this food facility here, this food run. That could provide London with even further uh, demand for transportation, as more people are going to be flocking to the town, or the city rather. Let's see. Minus 145. It's June, so we've passed six months by now. We're a little under half what we had in income last year. Minus 90k. If I take out one additional 500k or a little bit more, uh, this is probably going to go up to 200, which is something I cannot really carry. Oh, nice. Let's see, where are these people waiting to go? That way we can see where the transport capability is most needed. Okay, you're going to work in London. You're going to the shop all the way over there. You're going to work in London, and you're going to work in Southampton. Understood. Okay, so we need mostly capability on this line. Because the more we can keep these trains running, the better it'll be. Now a train car is going to cost me, I think, 500k. So they are quite expensive at that. The three axle car. I could go with a compartment car. They are far, far cheaper. Actually, I bought the wrong ones, didn't I? Because the train that I'm using can only do 60. Alright, let's see if I can overhaul this thing. Because I'm using this uh, engine. And then we're going to have the compartment cars instead of the three axle cars. So we're going to have, let's see, four of those. Adds 44 passengers, 55, something like that. Uh, you have to pay 1 million. 1 million we can probably muster. Because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cars. I think we can do that. Okay, let's see. 1.08, come on. Alright, so that's going to upgrade these trains to have additional transport capability. And as such, should make them more money. Because the biggest investment for this train is the engine. That's going to mostly cost me the money. The more of these wagons that I add on to that, the cheaper they should be able to run. There we go. This thing now has a capacity of 66. Let's replay, replay, repay the loan ASAP. We're going to pick up the whole population of this town, or at least the station, 66 there. We have here, you already have been upgraded. What's your power rating like? Still good. Excellent. Okay, so you just picked up all the passengers that were waiting there, and there's another further 25. We know that some of them are waiting to go over here. Some of them are waiting to go to Southampton, and some even to go all the way to Bristol. That's not as much as I was expecting. But again, I 
upgraded the capability for transport of these trains by 50% from 44, or 42 actually, to 66 and they're still running full. Let's see, this guy had some people who were waiting to go to Southampton. Yep, there we go. And the rest of them all have to go to East Bristol, is that it? Could be. I'd be surprised if that's the case, but it could be. These things are now costing me... They're costing me even less per year than they were. See, that's where the cash is. That is where the cash is. Transporting them all the way from Bristol to Canterbury or the other way around. So right now the trains should start approaching a balance of one million pretty quickly. I'm gonna make that a priority, adding more trains. How much does one train get me in a year, I wonder? 1908 is not really a fair year. So let's set, take 1909 for a starting point to see what exactly a train can get me in one year. Uh, the first stop was not too interesting. This one is going to be the big one for about 200k. And of course the same happens on the other way. 50 people who didn't go to Southampton. Yeah, we need more trains. Loan just went up to 180k. So we're paying 30 interest extra per year. 210. What does a combination of that cost me? 2.62 million per vehicle. So that's something I could potentially make back in a year, um, I'd say about five to eight years. Something along those lines. And the other one should be seeing similar numbers. Yeah, 112, 165. That's pretty similar. So I guess most of them are trying to head back to Canterbury. Is that it? Yeah, not a lot of people were getting in or out. 199. Alright, so this should be the jackpot. Yep. And once again, it's running on full. Let's repay another section. Income 433,000 this year, and we're only on August, so I think we might break 600k this year. Well, 440. I'm going to try and get this to 11 million by the end of the year. Keep depressing that loan. Paying it off ASAP. Alright, so train one currently is looking at 263,000 a year. 370 a year. Yeah, we might actually get there. When train, which that? That's train two. When train two gets back. They're looking at, again, very similar numbers. About 300,000 profit. Ching, yep, which oh we actually crushed 800k already. Paid back the loan to 11 million. Again, plenty of people waiting to go to Southampton. A couple of new wagons, nothing too interesting there. Okay, so we made 800k last year. Um, considering that we can easily carry the loan. Um, let's see. At the start of that year, I had a loan which I think was uh, 12 million. So if I can 
take a little bit of a loan. Yes, I know, I'm constantly talking about the loan. I'm trying to maximize my income. I know that the trains are a good way of doing that. Because there's constant demand for the trains. So the easiest way to do it could be to try and either get a new train or to make the current trains have even more wagons. I think option B might be better. So, the central line replacement, adjust, wagons, add three more cars to that. Replace now is going to cost me 2.1 million. And that's going to have my capacity go up from 66 to 99. 2.1. Let's do it. Okay, they're going to get upgraded. It might be too much, but most of the time we're seeing people here who are getting left behind. Because some of them are asking to go further. So people, uh, the, the train could be almost full over there, disembark 10 to 15 over there, pick up immediately once these guys are back in. There we go, now we have 99. Mediocre transport rating, or power rating. The one thing I don't like is that when you upgrade a train, it just kicks everybody off the train. So you're operating the train as if it were empty for that initial run. Look at that. Everybody aboard. Now they're costing me 500k a year. So I'm paying 100k per year extra for another, say, 30% capability. Actually, 50%. It was 66, it's now 99, so we pay 50%. We have a. Sorry, <laughs> English. We have 50% more capability than we did last time around for only 100k per year more. I think that's a fair trade-off. Of course, yes, I'll be paying a little bit more in interest. I'm probably going to be looking at uh, 210. But I should still be able to carry that. And the amount of people waiting here is still rather drastic. It's still not making me a lot of money though. 11,000 a year? That's barely interesting. Nice. Okay, we're looking at 195. That's doable. Because it's only February and we already made about that back. This one, 24. It's going to pick up a decent amount of people waiting to go to South London. What about the Bristol line, though? Uh, barely making a profit, and 20k. Hmm. Not really over the moon for that. That's a start. Can we use this farm anywhere? Um, I'm looking at this. I can take the wheat from this, transport it here, turn it into plastic. Plastic goes over there, so these are all nice and short distances. Then I'm either going to need uh, planks or steel. Planks are probably the easiest for the moment. If I can find a spot where I can actually make planks, that is. Yeah, here. Oh, that's far worse than I'd hoped. Because see, the planks are not, or the, the wood is not the problem. We have them one, two, three. Turning that into planks is a whole different story. Because we have those again clustered towards the middle of the map. So that's going to be more complicated in trying to run one. How are the trains? 600k. Let's pay off another section. 
We're in September. Profit's going to be, I think, about 500 to 600k. Something along those lines. The trains are running full. At this point, it might get interesting to add a few more trams because I'm not seeing enough passengers waiting here. That may mean that we need a few more trams to start feeding into these train stations a little bit faster. Small tweaks. And here comes another cash cow. Ready to hit East Bristol. There we go, 271. See, as long as you're making a profit, it's peanuts. It's uh, seven and a half thousand per uh, million, or sorry, per half a million that I pay. So it's really not that much. Okay, so we made 748k last year. That's a good score. This train is once again full. Keeping a very close eye on these things, because right now, they are the ones that are driving the company. The trams? Really not that much. If we're to add a few more, we're going to need about 90k to do that. And these guys are all waiting on the London to South London line. So, join that thing. And make sure we have more people ready to go there. Is this London Halt? Yeah, that's London Halt. Okay. Bring in the money. 233. I want another two. You could say this is overkill, but the, f the bigger those trains are going to be, the better. And this means that a tra or sorry, a tram is now going to arrive every 90 seconds in South London. That's pretty fast. Again, we're going to need that capacity. South London ha still has a mediocre transport rating, though. Interesting. I thought it'd be a bit better by now. All right, they're all flocking to the station. Now, as long as I don't expand too aggressively, we should be fine. Again, that is always a weakness. I want to expand too fast, too far. And that is usually when I drive my whole company into the ground. Because it's simply not something you can carry eventually, that loan. Initially, you can. And you think, oh, I can get a little more, and a little more, and a little more, and then you go, boom, shit. <laughs> Where's the cash? I like all of these passengers waiting here. Okay, so even if we spent 357,000 on new vehicles, the four new trams, we're still making a profit. Again, it's not going to be as much as last year. But if I can just have another 500k, I'll pay off another section of the debt. Not sure if I can get that done before December, though. Because it's already looking towards the end of November. And we need one of these to arrive at their end stops. Yep, got it. Okay, so paid off another half a million. And we now have the Schaffhausen, another transport ship. Look at that. This one's gonna bring in a boatload of cash. Or a train load, maybe. How are the trams doing here? They're still making a very, very tiny profit. But I have the feeling that the train station's feeding or filling up a bit faster than it was previous. Oh, and they're already expanding to another section of the town. You guys don't waste any time. Yeah, they're 
there's still more demand for transportation than I have capacity for. And the same goes for Bristol. Lots of people waiting to go from one side to the other. Still, the Bristol line's not really profitable. Okay, next order of business. Add Birmingham. I just need a train station. Uh, it's going to be a larger station because I also want to tie in London. So it's going to be one that goes... Uh, it's going to have a connection to here, it's going to have a connection to there. And considering that London seems to also want to get people to Bristol, I want to have a double station here, so one going there, one going there. And then maybe a short hop, no, actually not, we're not going to do an easy, a short hop from Bristol to Birmingham. We can do that with the central line. Right, so train station. Uh, this could be a terminal station. Let's give it some decent length. Second uh, road connection, catenary on it. Two trains or two tracks. And if we could fit that thing close, that would be wonderful. Okay, that's one. Um, can we still upgrade this one? We can. Good. Because that's the one that's going to head to London. And preferably not through the farm, because killing off sections of the farm is going to be rather expensive. Now I'm prioritizing this section, because I know that we have feeders for both ends. This thing is being fed by the halt. And this one's being fed by the trams from the other side. So I just need a small train that's going to be servicing this section. So we're going to need a depot for that. <coughs> and probably one of those engines that I'm already using, the PLM220. It doesn't have to be particularly fast. And most, ex most importantly, it doesn't need to be particularly expensive. Okay, what's the class 75-4? It's pretty fast. Uh, pretty expensive as well. I'm paying 50,000 premium for 30 kph extra. And it has quite a bit more power. Well, I'm not sure about the amount of people who are going to be waiting to go from here to there. So initially, I'm not going to have uh, more than one train running there. So this is uh, London to Bristol. Typing. To Bristol. <coughs> we made a 200k profit despite spending 600,000 on construction costs. That's not too bad. Okay, so what do I need for this train? I need 1 million, say 1.1, and then maybe start with three cars. So I need about 1.8. Round it up to four cars, and you're going to look at 2.2, something along those lines. And I wonder if people are going to start using this line, because this is far faster for them then going from London to South London, and then waiting for the train from there to there. So this should be a more appealing route to them. I just wonder how quickly they're going to pick up on the fact that it is faster. It might also relieve pressure on the South London line, the tram station, or the tram line that we have over there, and potentially put a little bit more strain on the northern section of London, that tram line. This must be looking busy. Yep. Have you ever seen people queuing that nicely for a tram or a bus or a train? So I don't know what it's like in your country, but over here we don't do that. Not at all. Okay, 
we're looking at a million. Very nice. 690k profit this year. Can we break a million? It is October. 99 people. Where's the train? It just left? Okay. Adding another train here would not be too much of an unsafe investment either. That would be very nice to have another train running on this section. Again, not a priority. This is the priority. Stick to the plan. Profit this year, I'm thinking is going to turn out at just shy of a million. 960, yeah, 960. Okay, now we have enough. And yes, I did just take out a little bit more of a loan for that. Oh, shit, that's the wrong one. Um, yep, three. You're going to be on the London-Bristol line. Again, it's going to take a while for these people to realize that there is a train now. Uh, distance. Power rating is good. Costing me per year. 458k. Let's not go too aggressive on expenditures this year. Because it's very possible that for now... This one's going to cost me money the whole year. Simply because people don't know that there's a station here. Let's see. Are they going to be walking towards there? Yes, they are. Okay, so now they know. Yep, we have our first passenger aboard. Does it work the other way? It does. Two people waiting there. With more flocking to the station. Three. Very nice. Two point five K per passenger. So if we can get more passengers on there, that should fix it. Alright, well, I think that's making decent profit or decent uh, progress for this episode. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Keep in mind that I do pre-record these things quite far in advance. And as such, um, a comment that you leave on this video is not going to have an immediate impact on the next one. As I uh, don't actually incorporate the comments right away. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you soon for more Transport Fever.